thanks for coming on again. Um, we do love having you on here, so sorry, we're probably <laughs> using you quite a lot at the moment. Um, <laughs> That's but, all right, don't thank, worry. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Kevin, uh, what is the latest with this then, with Arnie Slot and Tottenham? Well, well, Tottenham seem to be interested, but Feyenoord have said there's been no official offer. Feyenoord would like to keep him. He's just won them the Eredivisie, so they would like him to extend his deal there. But as you say, and as he has said, the Premier League's very attractive. And you look at the quality of manager there is at the top end of the Premier League. It's really quite extraordinary, the level of coaching. It does feel like a coach's league at the moment. And you think of the job that De Zerbi has done since going to Brighton. And I think anybody you'd, I think people are surprised by how good the job has been. But I think anybody who'd watched his football at Sassuolo or even before that in Italy knew that he was going to be exciting. I, I just don't think we knew he was going to be somebody who'd have this much of an impact. With Slot, I think you look at what he's done, not just at Feyenoord, but at RZ before that, because he overachieved with them. I think what really stands out is he's a good communicator with players. He gets his ideas across very well. As you heard, his English is good. He's somebody who likes to work with young players, likes to, to develop young talent feels like young players are more receptive to ideas. And he's somebody that ideally does want to play good attacking football. And he wants to press when he doesn't have the ball. I know that's not hugely unusual, but he wants to be aggressive without the ball and wants to score goals and play on the front foot when he's got it. I wanted to ask you, Kevin, about um, Vinicius Jr. What's the update on that situation, please? So the update's really interesting, actually, because... Uh, as is not always the case in Spain, they've actually moved quite quickly and the Federation have ordered the closure of uh, one of Valencia's stands um, for five games. There's been a fine as well. But what's really interesting, I think, is so for people who don't know, actually, I should just lay out for people who don't know. So at the weekend, Vinicius um, was racially abused, pointed out um, people who were racially abusing him. And it has since transpired that three people have been detained um, as a result of that. And uh, he was sent off towards the end of that game. He had a, an altercation with Hugo Duro, who is a Valencia player. And you could see clearly that Duro had him in a headlock at one stage. <laughs> and his, his reaction was to push him away yep. in the face. And uh, the it was the Vinicius reaction images that were shown to the referee and not the headlock. And so Vinicius has had that red card uh, wiped away and he won't be banned. And there are echoes here, actually, of what happened with Romelu Lukaku yeah. earlier in the season in Italy because uh, he was given a red card, a uh, second yellow card for celebrating um, over the top after, or it was deemed over the top, uh, after he'd been racially abused. And so that was wiped away as well. So we are starting to see at least those kinds of decisions where it's being looked at and you say, well, look, look at the provocation there's been for these players. Yeah. Um, so the closing stands, and that's going to be for five games, isn't it? So the final game of this yeah. season and, and the four for next season. And we'll keep a close eye because the police have sprung into action as well for um, arresting people that were in connection with the effigy as well that was hung yes. of Vinicius Jr. too. So look, there is action. Um, the only the, the cynic in me is wondering whether it's more of a reaction than them actually going yes. out and saying, right, let's 100%. sort this out. Yeah, which um, still a lot of work to be done there. Kevin, um, appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you very you, Kevin. much. Cheers, guys. Thanks, mate. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.